still in Lagos State, the Environmental Protection Agency says the current change in weather and the atmosphere condition across the country is not Hamilton, but rather an extreme form of air pollution. The agency says its investigation reveals the level of air pollution can have their consequences on human health. Senior correspondent Jacqueline Ogo has more details. According to the World Health Organization, air pollution kills an estimated 7 million people in the world annually. In 2019, China and India recorded almost 2 million deaths from air pollution. But statistics put together by worldpopulationreview.com says Bangladesh is the most polluted country in the world. Stepping into Africa and turning attention to Nigeria, the Environmental Protection Agency says the current weather and atmospheric condition in the country is not hamatan but a result of air pollution with a list of dire consequences on human health synonymous with those listed by the World Health Organization. I had to find a pulmonary physician who is a doctor that deals with respiratory matters to explain the dangers of air pollution. Can lead to respiratory tract diseases like I said before, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease over time. It can lead to lung cancers, cancer of the mouth, oral cancer, nasopharyngeal cancer, um, cervical cancer and a variety of other cancers. It can also even lead to metabolic dysfunction, it can lead to hypertension, it can lead to diabetes, it can affect the skin and it can affect multiple organ systems including the heart. And if you're wondering if children can be adversely affected by air pollution, hear Dr. Abiola Omolayole again. Even in pregnant women, it has, a, it has an adverse effect on the fetus, growing fetus. It can lead to prematurity, it can lead to low birth weight. As the child develops, it can actually hinder the progression of the lung development. So, Could that be all? If you notice um, any cough that lingers on for more than two weeks, or if you notice difficulty in breathing, or you notice anything like wheezing or chest tightness, or even weight loss, it's good to visit your doctor because you may have a respiratory tract um, disease. Even if you don't have any symptoms, it's good to do a normal routine checkup at least twice a year. To verify if people are already getting dangerous signals from the current weather condition, I did a quick check on the streets. What I can say is that we are living right at the moment. The issue of climate change, the issue of chest pain is becoming a recurring decimal. As a pastor, most of my members complain about chest pain, but I'm a medical doctor. But I have a medical doctor friend. I was there two weeks, I mean three days ago, and the issues as to with chest-related pain, you know, from what I could deduce. The weather early in the morning is always very dusty. It's always, it's not fresh. So because of that, I had to keep using, start using my nose max because I noticed that when I'm breathing, I have difficulty breathing. I don't think the weather is polluted. And if it's about weather pollution, I think it's been happening like since probably two years ago. Everything has not been going normal. To ensure safety, Nigeria's Environmental Protection Agency is asking citizens, residents in the country and visitors to mask up. Stay hydrated by drinking more water, preferably warm water. Cover food and water properly to prevent dust from settling on them. Wash foods thoroughly before eating them and to stay indoors as much as possible because the current weather condition may prevail for a considerable period of time. Jacqueline Ogo, TVC News, Lagos.